I just said it, he's gonna do another sacrifice. Somebody's gonna be sacrificed and join the Undertaker. I mean, we don't know who it is, and we don't know when this when is this ceremony supposed to take place. Undertaker, you better watch that by you, Chris. Oh, I do not feel right. Oh, well, here we're backstage here with. Oh wait, that's pale and deaf with Megan. Yeah, now we have interviews now. We're back to having interviews. Yeah, that's right, we wanna know. Look at Megan, she looks sexy. Deepa Man and Pill have a history together. What? You, what? Deepa has been keeping singing for over 20 years. Yeah! I knew it! Keep me secret! Oh, God, God! Well, on the next episode, he's gonna reveal everything Diva Man did 20 years ago. What? Well, well, it looks like on the next episode of Mayhem, Death's gonna reveal everything Diva Man did 20 years ago. Oh, my gosh! Well, speaking of Deep Man, he's in a finals count anywhere match with James Cole in the King of Champions Tournament Round 1 match. That's later tonight, as well as Frogger taking on Kurt Angle. That'll be later on tonight. And also, we have the contract signing between Wyatt and Christian at, for King of Champions match for the end of world title. But up next, the Red Ranger, Zack Major. That's next. Oh my god. Man, just things just keep getting just better and better, I guess. Well, heck, I guess the, on the next episode of Mayhem, I mean, that's going to be episode worth to watch. Everything, I mean, a lot of answers will be revealed. I mean, we got the Penguin who's going to be there uh, taking over for the show. We got, I mean, Death uh, trying to reveal. What uh, apparently Diva Man did 20 years ago. I don't know. Oh, look at, look at that. 20 years ago. Uh, I don't know what to say. And we got the Undertaker talking about he got, he's going to sacrifice another person. What the heck is going on here? Well, that's going to be a worthwhile episode to watch. Here come Red Ranger. Yeah, it's Red Ranger. And he's going to face uh, one of the. Uh, Former NWF Tag Team Champions, the mate one of the major twins, Zach. And uh, I'm telling you, I mean, this match, I mean, the, both these two men, someone have similar styles in the ring. I mean, this match is going to be kind of, I'm hoping, it's going to be really fast paced. Well, I'm not a big fan of the major twins. The Red Ranger, Red Ranger, find the goal. He's, he will move up. Well, that remains to be seen, and here we go with the match now. Red Ranger, and uh, I believe Zach Major, and oh goodness, what a, what a kick there by Red Ranger. I'm telling you, wouldn't Red Ranger like to, oh goodness, like to hold gold. He has never held gold, and, I, and the thing I like about this tournament is, when we get to see, oh gosh, what an insecure kick by Zach Major. The thing is, we get to see, a lot, not just the main, same old main eventers like you see in uh, <coughs> WWE. <coughs> but everybody gets a chance to uh, climb up the ladder, and everybody gets an opportunity to have a title, NWF World Heavyweight Title match, which is good. Yeah, that's good. That's how you're supposed to rock. <laughs> Any type of league or, or, or breathing for Rick up court. That's right. Oh, good. It's nice uh, cartwheel uh, elbow drop by Red Ranger. And that is what you do. And that's the purpose of the tournaments. Is to give other people a chance. And what is it? Wait a minute. What the heck is this? Red Ranger just tossed a Zack uh, Major upside down here. What, what, what did Red Ranger do? Oh, goodness. What a drop kick on that. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh! 
Red Rage, he's just been on. He's just on so quick and just on. Oh, gosh, for the axe kick. He's just on fire. Red Ranger is just on fire. What? Oh, uh, only on one count. Of course you're on fire. I hope you win this, man. I hope so. I hope. Oh, I hope. Well, you might. You might be right, Jimmy. Oh, wait. We got to cover here. Oh, no. Not even. But I'm, I'm, wait, it was, uh, Zach Major going on the top rope there. What is, oh, but miss. Miss crashed and burned. Now Red Ranger on the, t oh, gosh, what a kid. Nice. I'm tell you, you have to watch out. Wait a minute, what is this now? Oh, goodness, nice. I'm tell you, both of these men, I mean, it's just exciting to watch. I mean, these matches lately, these King of Champions tournament matches have been really good lately. We saw, wait a minute, what is this? It's got some sort of, Red Ranger's got some sort of, uh, a headlock. Kinda looks like, uh, kinda looks like, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, Anaconda Vice. Kinda what, like, Paul Phoenix does. Uh, that's what it kinda looks like. Uh, oh, Chris with a, uh, kick there by, uh, Red Ranger. I'm saying, like, like, dude, I, like I said, man, we here in NWF, I mean, we like to give it. Wait a minute, what, Red Ranger kicking the low. Oh gosh, now nah, a kick in the back of the head there. I mean, NWF, we like to give everybody opportunity. Everybody, not just the same old, same old people. I'm mean, a rope break. That is the and the thing is, oh, gosh, nice clothesline there. That's and that is why the WWE right now is failing. I mean, it's not just they went PG. It's the fact that they, we see the same old crap over and over again. The same uh, four people that you see, which is Triple H, John Cena, Randy Orton, and Shawn Michaels. It's ridiculous. It's the same old crap. That's why I don't even watch it anymore. That's why I watch crap. That's why I don't watch this. Stupid. Oh, good. Nice uh, kick there by Red Ranger. But, uh... Let's not mention that horrible show. Oh, goodness. Nice there by Red Ranger. I tell you, Red Ranger, dude. Red Ranger. I mean, it looks like he's got some new moves here. Moves that we're... Oh, gosh. And we're not sometimes accustomed to seeing here. And wait a minute. Red Ranger's got a pin cover here. One. Is it going to be? No. It isn't. And Red Ranger just constantly. I mean, Red Ranger. I mean, oh, goodness. Lately, he's just been trying to... I mean, he's been fighting for the international title, but now he's got an opportunity. Oh, goodness, well, man. What a counter there by one of Zach Major there. What, uh, not even a pin there. But now he's got an opportunity to get at the NWF World Heavyweight title. Now, what is this now? Red Ranger now. Wait, what is Oh, goodness, what a kick there. All right, Red Ranger. You can tell, I believe, uh, Kurt, uh, Saxon. Oh, wait, what is this now? Oh, gosh, the Mighty Morphin Kick. The Mighty Morphin Kick. And now Red Ranger, he's on the top rope. He's going up. Oh, gosh, for the suck moon suck. Modified moon suck. One, two, and three. It's over. Yeah. Yep, like I said, I knew it. Red Ranger won. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Oh man, congrats to Red Ranger! Man, that Red Ranger pulled it off. I kind of thought he would. Well, I predicted. Both me and Jimmy predicted. I already knew who was going with. But now we got Red Ranger, who is now advanced. I believe Red Ranger will be facing, uh, if I can remember, Ash Ketchum for a round two match. And uh, I'm telling you, I mean, this, this tournament is looking good, looking good thus far. And now Archie Andrews once again backstage, and here's, uh, here's The Rock. Archie Andrews was brought in to investigate this whole IWT Peg Cut 58 investigation. That is true. You got a point. Those two are right. Just have hatred. They're more than bitter rivals. Wow. <laughs>
Yeah, that isn't rock style. Mickey Mouse wearing tattoo. Oh my gosh, he still says that. That's why who is Oscar Andrews anyway? He a horrible investigation. He horrible. Well, I mean, this is Arch Andrews' first night on the job. Give Arch Andrews some, you know, some credit here. He's trying. Oh, uh, uh, The Rock, once again, being The Rock. Showing disrespect to Arch Andrews. Oh, well, well. Hell, you know, great. Here comes a rich, sprawl brat known as Peter Gates. And even when we're on SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, he's still on that cell phone. Uh, uh, that's it. I'm tired of you calling Peter Gates rich, sprawl brat. You just do 